This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management, hoping everyone is enjoying their friends and family over this happy holiday Thanksgiving Day weekend. This week on the Street of Dreams, markets moved higher, which isn't really a surprise since it seems to happen every year as Thanksgiving week marks the official start of the holiday season. Markets moved higher on economic indicators pointing to a slowdown in the economy and anecdotal evidence of a further drop in inflation. On Wednesday, the U.S. manufacturing and U.S. services PMIs were both weaker. They're now solidly in contraction territory, with manufacturing coming in at 47.6 and services hitting a low of 46.1. Now remember, 50 is the dividing line. Above 50 indicates expansion, and below 50 indicates contraction. Now, in addition, Jerome Powell and his gang of 12 released the minutes of the recent meeting of the FOMC, that's the Federal Operating Market Committee, when they revealed what the market seemed to already know. The Fed is prepared to slow down the increment of interest rate increases, but not the pace of them, at least not yet. So the sense is that 50 basis points is now the expected increase in rates in December, and that 50 more is likely to come in the late January meeting. The December minutes, which will come out in January, will reveal beyond that. Currently, investors are expecting 25 basis point increase at the March meeting, and if coming economic data continues to be soft. So stay tuned, stay invested, and ignore the noise. You know, markets have been volatile this year. It is exactly this volatility that creates the opportunities that lead to future returns for successful long-term investors. However, over the past month and year, the media continues to spew what I call financial propaganda, content that is just useless, but extremely harmful as it appeals to our emotions and arouses feelings of fear and greed. The media will tell you that this has been the worst year in 100 years for a conservative investor. What they don't tell you is now it's one of the best times to invest as a conservative investor and to stick to your discipline. Over the past month, not only have financial markets rallied, but some categories like large company value stocks are now up for the year, joining categories like energy pipelines and commodities. The key to successful long-term investing is really very basic. First, you have to have broad diversification. Spread your portfolio across different asset classes. Simply put, don't put all your eggs in one basket or one asset class. It's better to be approximately right than precisely wrong. Second is not to fear volatility, but to embrace it. So try to remember, you don't get good prices with good news. So please, enjoy the weekend, ignore the noise, stay invested, and take advantage of those lower prices. Hey, my son, Ryan, and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, just simply call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management.